back to Midwest Access at Thursday's Downtown. We are live and Cody Benjamin, a local author, you were so kind as to meet us down here for the interview today. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's fun to be around, like not just in a studio, around so many different people, food, it smells good. It's, yeah, thanks for having me. It's really fun. Well, thank you for making the trip too. And so originally from Pennsylvania and then now you live in Red Wing? Yeah, so uh, I grew up in Pennsylvania, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, went to school there and lived in Minnesota for the last about seven or so years and based out of Red Wing now. Yep. Nice, nice. And so you have written, you do a number of things actually, we were talking, we'll see how far we get. Um, but for sure, we would want to talk about these two books that you have um, coming out. And so maybe we'll start with I Found You in the Past. Yeah, so my, my day job is covering the NFL for CBS Sports. And so it is a very different thing, but I, I can't help myself but write you know, even when I'm not working. And so these are a collection of short stories. And so I Found You in the Past is one of the two books, and each of them contains more than 20 original short stories. And so some of these are based on local Minnesota history, my life as a, as a dad, uh, as a husband. And so, yeah, a lot is kind of put into these, these short stories, but they're all original and packed together in two different books. I love that you continue to write, even though writing is your job. Sometimes people will say if you do you do what you you know love for a living, it can kind of kill that passion. And obviously for you, it's not done that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I joke like with my wife that I kind of have like a sickness or something because I, you know, I'm, I'm writing about football during the day, which I did as a kid, you know, just pretending to be a sports writer. Um, but yeah, I just have stories that I need to get out. And so whether or not you know, 100 people read them, 10 people read them. I just have to get them out. Yeah. That's so cool that you know you're really doing, like, what fulfilling your purpose. Um, and so the other one as well, let's talk about that. Yeah, so that one's called A Fateful Night at LeBlanc's. And so these are two stories that are in the collection, but there's, like I said, uh, dozens of them in there. And so there's really no genre that isn't touched in these collections. So it's, you know, if you like social satire or historical fiction, uh, romantic comedy, sci-fi thrillers, there's kind of something for everyone, hopefully. Wow, yeah. that's, that's also kind of incredible and unique, I think, for you as a writer. Usually people have kind of a niche, and you're just like, I have a lot. Yeah, and I, I think it's, I take inspiration from a lot of writers that I've read, you know, whether it's like classic authors, Shirley Jackson or P.G. Wodehouse, and some people may never have heard of these, but also, you know, shows like The Twilight Zone, oh, yeah. movies by Christopher Nolan, stories where you're not really sure what lurks around the corner. There's kind of something always underneath the surface. That's kind of what the, the connective thread is for these stories. Awesome. Well, I feel very privileged to have had you on today. And so the books come out in the fall. Uh, where can we where can we get more information and stay stay tuned so that we can get those? Yeah, so they'll both be on Amazon in the fall. Uh, I Found You in the Past is coming out September 1st. A Fateful Night at LeBlanc's is October 1st. But you can go right now to uh, my website, so CodyJBenjamin.com. You can pre-order them right now and you'll get a discount and advanced shipping. So you'll get them early. Um, and if you're here, like on, at this event, obviously you probably like a lot of food. There's so many things. There's one story I think that a lot of Minnesotans would like in the collection. It's about a confidential meeting of people who find themselves addicted to the state fair. And so uh, that's one of the more comical ones. But yeah, you can find them at CodyJBenjamin.com. Okay, yep. Perfect. I love that. Addicted to the state fair and the food in there. <laughs> yeah. And that's just obviously that's more of a comical one. But there is more serious ones if you're a parent. Um, you know, just everyday life situations in these short stories too. Endless stories being a parent. And so uh, what do you have for children? Yeah, so we have a five-year-old son named Emmanuel and a four-year-old daughter named Effie. And so they're kind of an endless um, pit of either destruction and inspiration for, for different stories. Uh, so yeah, they've made their way into the book too. Oh, yeah. I love that. That is great. Well, you find time to do it all. It's amazing. Thank you again so much for being on the show with us. So make sure you're following Cody, CodyJBenjamin.com. Yep. All right. I got it right. All right. And then on the way, we have um, Crispin Green. We took a, a trip to Crispin Green and they just opened a couple weeks ago and tried them out. And then after the break, Sarah will be back with your full weather forecast. Welcome back to Midwest Access. I'm Jesse.